Hello and welcome everyone to the final episode of Pikmin 2 Challenge, our Pikmin 2 Challenge. You can see we just finished this bridge because sometimes these guys will just spawn and kind of start breaking it and... No, I'm just kidding, it's not actually the final episode. <laughs> no, it's not the final episode, but it may be... If we're lucky, the final episode in The Awakening Wood, because we have only one cave left. One cave left here. And if we can finish it in one episode, we'll be complete. First, however, we have to get to the cave. To do that. Uh, I hope I didn't lose one there. I gotta kill a few of these guys because we've got a little puzzle we're gonna have to uh, get through. And they're done. Okay, so hopefully 20 blue Pikmin is enough. Actually, we're gonna need to. Uh, build this bridge. Oh dear. Oh dear. I didn't know those guys were here. Are we gonna do it? Okay, we're good. Okay, so give me a minute off camera to break this bridge and I'll be back with you at a later time. Okay, so it took a painfully long time because I only brought 20 blue Pikmin, but I have got this down, completed the silly little puzzle, and I don't know if we'll be able to make it for... Oh god, don't drown. Oh god, don't drown. Don't go that way. No! Maybe they'll be okay. Maybe they can make it. It looks like they did. This is all kinds of bad. Oh boy. Oh, this is not good. But it looks like they made it. Somehow. Uh, okay, they just ran on through. Well, I guess that's one way to do it. Okay, I'll see you on the next day. Okay, so that was pretty scary, but we somehow managed to get through. I did not expect them to go that way. I expected them to come through here with that, so <laughs> I wasn't really prepared for them going the other direction. I probably shouldn't have knocked down that, uh, that bridge. That was my fatal error. But it's all good now because it turned out okay. Now we've got all of the treasures in the overworld. Now we might need to fight the bird guy that we saw. Yeah. It's possible we can avoid a fight with him if we just, uh, Stay right over here on this wall. We'll give it a shot and see what happens. I'll call, get ready to call him away if I need to. Yeah, we seem to be out of range. So I'll uh, be back when this is down. Alright, so they completed it. And the bird is safely underground. Where he won't bother us. And we're going to head straight into the Snagrit Hole. I don't remember how long this cave is or even what's in it, to be honest with you. It's... I've only... I haven't really done this cave very much, so we'll, uh, it'll be a surprise for everyone. Alright. So what are we looking at? Oh boy. Things on the ground. I heard a Pikmin squeal, but he seems to be okay now. That 
him bit me instead of a Pikmin. Hopefully not getting comes out of the ground here so I can kill this dude. Oh boy. Yes. He missed, and that let him that let me uh throw Pikmin high enough to get on top of him. Which was very lucky. If he hadn't missed, then I probably would have lost him there, but we're good. So we'll let them carry that marble on over to the ship and we'll head on up this little tube. I don't know if there's anything else in this sub-level. There is. There's a feather. So I'll wait until he's back at the ship and then I'll see you guys on the next sub-level. Cat's eye. Ah, okay, he made it right quick. So, one gorgeous feather, and we'll head right on down. It's an odd sublevel, that one. One of the few that's, this is also an odd sublevel, it's one of the few that's uh, not reused anywhere else. This is also odd because it's, uh, apparently these caves are supposed to be underground, but this doesn't look very underground to me. I don't understand. It doesn't make any sense. Okay, so what are we looking at for treasures down here? Doesn't look like there's anything that way. Let's see, we're gonna go, I'm gonna zoom out a bit even though it's probably harder to see on YouTube. So it doesn't look like we got anything to worry about that direction. Oh boy. What is on top of... Come back here. What's up there? Please don't be what I think it is. Absolutely nothing is up there. Okay, well. That is not what I expected. To be quite honest with you. Oh, good. Just what I need. Not really, I've got 12 of them. I'm not exactly hurting for them here. So... Oh, dear Christ! I did not see that coming at all. It's a good thing. I managed to save it somehow. That was pretty... That was frightening, I'll tell you what. <laughs> that was a whole bunch of unexpected stuff happening at once. Somehow I did not see that guy. I didn't even see the flower, let alone the eye in the flower. Jesus Christ. Okay, so I think I'll uh, figure out the last of these enemies off camera, and then start maybe... Uh, You've seen all the treasures here just sitting above ground, so I'll start carrying those back and I'll meet you on the next sub-level, probably. Okay, here's the big strawberry. We've got a... I don't know if you remember, but we've got a smaller strawberry in the Awakening Wood above ground earlier on in the series. Here's a bigger one. For some reason, there's, there's two. And only two. And, uh... And here we have some sushi, or what appears to be sushi of some variety. Kind of disgusting looking. It's got like carpet on the side of it. But, maybe it's not a sushi, maybe it's a treat of some kind. That's the last of the treasures in here, so we'll head on down. Heading on down. Sublevel 3. That's some exciting stuff. Let's see, we got lots of gates. I assume things digging out of the ground on. Just to bug me. Yeah, that's what I figured. I thought something like that would happen. So, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get my purples ready. That was close. Hmm. 
my tactic with with bosses kind of like that is usually to see if I can attempt to uh, kill them without, you know, using the uh, the freezy thing. But then, if it if it fails and he's just about to swallow them, that's when I try to uh, throw one of them up. And it usually works pretty well unless I miss. I assume there's another one in here, maybe. So we've got to be a little bit careful. Get rid of this dude. This is just going to be annoying. So, uh... Oh yes, a purple flower. That's exactly what I want to see. Can we do it? Fight the good fight. Gotta get our purples on our on our hot bar. Our throwing hand. My good arm. Just in case he gets stuck in the ground. And he doesn't. It's much easier to stun him if he's stuck in the ground. In fact, I don't think he really can do it without uh, when he's above ground like that. Which is a little annoying. So I completely forgot that these guys were uh, not like halfway through sub levels. So it's kind of <laughs> took me by surprise there. So anyway, I'll uh, chop some of these walls down off camera and uh, get that purple flower, which is great because that's going to give us uh, 100 purple Pikmin. So we'll have to. We don't even need to collect any purple Pikmin anymore. So I probably won't. But anyway, see you after all these walls are broken. I just thought I should record this glorious moment. Voila! Viola! 100 purple Pikmin. What the heck? These levels are just changing arbitrarily into, like, every kind of sublevel. Oh well. And there's a big mishmash of enemies too, it's kind of weird. Okay, I assume there's gonna be rocks falling from the ceiling, which is, you know, not my favorite thing in the world. But I can deal with it if I must. I'm a big fan of uh, knocking out all hazards I come across, even if they're not areas I need to go into. I'm sure, like everybody on the under the sun is like that as well. But it's just uh, I find it's a much better strategy than ignoring them just in case. You know, you can never be too careful. He's going to bug me. Get it because he's a larva? <laughs> no. No. Let's not do that. Okay. Fire. Miss. And stun. These guys do stun when they don't come out of the ground. We, were, we figured that out a while back. So that worked just nicely. Something may drop from the ceiling. And, no, we're good. Okay. I think this is uh, one of the earlier levels, so it's probably not... doesn't have hidden, scary things like that. So anyway, 100 Purple Pikmin means we can finally progress onto the new level. The, uh... what's it called? I don't even remember. The Wistful Wild, that's it. So we'll do that right after this. I'm very glad that it coincided perfectly with, uh completing all three of the earlier levels, because now we can just spend the last of our episodes on the Wistful Wild, and we won't have to come back and visit old places all over again, so that's really nice. Uh, tell you what, let me clear off the rest of this off-camera, because we're low on time, and then we'll uh, finish off the episode after that. My, oh my, this guy just dropped from the ceiling, and it was very scary. Let me just, uh... Jigger my way around him. Yeah, there we go. Alright, so we got a magnet too. Okay. So let me just carry this back and this one treasure over here, the cherry magnet cherry. Okay, that'll finish off the rest of the episode here, everybody. We'll see you in the next one to finish the rest of this cave. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.